Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bruce and today we have a Hoya or oh my gosh So I used to saying Hoyas because that's almost all that I buy But I have an unboxing for you guys today and it is not a Hoya. This is from actually uh, Greenhouse Works and so uh, Overall their prices are a lot cheaper, uh, but they do have a long uh, delivery time as in when I placed this order, I ordered this May 30th, uh, and I just got it in today, which is September 2nd. So they did stay, or they did say that it's anywhere between 4 to 12 weeks uh, before you uh, actually get it. So they shipped it last week through UPS, and I finally got it today, which is a Wednesday, September 2nd. So. Uh, let's go ahead and open this um, really quick about this packaging. I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, as in, they t tape this all around. Um, and this is just a Japanese Beatles uh, certification and quarantine compliance. Um, I'm not sure why they need to include it, but I thought that that was pretty neat. Um, I, I don't know if Beatles are a pest that Ohio is dealing with. But I just thought that it was interesting overall. Cool. So I had already went ahead and I just uh, on taped this basically and I cut it open. And so we're going to see uh, what's in here. So already there's some newspaper filings coming out. Uh, and so I'm just going to turn this on its side. So there is an invoice for me. See what this says. Cool. So the nice thing is, is that I did um, tell them that if they did send this to me sometime in June uh, or like towards the end of June, beginning of August, to let me know because um, I was moving, um, and so luckily they waited and. I went ahead and shot them an email saying, oh yeah, like this is my new address. And so that's how they were able to get it to me. So they changed the address here on the invoice. Um, there's a total, and this really wasn't that much. Um, yeah. Oh, and then they have a certif uh, certificate of nursery inspection by the Ohio Department of Culture. So that's pretty cool. Mm, cool. That down. So again, here we go. Here's just like a whole bunch of newspaper. Now in here is only just one plant. Um, I didn't want to order too too much from them, uh, only because I was not sure how it was going to be. Um, shipping overall was kind of expensive because uh, I guess because it's going through UPS, um, it's a little bit more expensive. Uh, which I'm so sorry. So anyways. Um, here we go. Here's the inside again, just in case if I deleted the last part out. Ah, so um, let's go ahead and dig in. So after, oh no, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. <laughs> um, so from what I've heard is is that you have like. What they do is they're a cut to order type of nursery. And so um, sometimes whenever you get the plant, it's not always uh, rooted enough. And so I'm going to check the roots uh, right after I open this. Um, and so that also explains why their shipping time is a little bit longer than usual. So it looks like this is a freebie. So this is not what I ordered. Uh, but it looks like it's just a syngonium. Uh, funny thing is, is that I believe I actually had one of these a long time ago, and I purposely killed it. <laughs> I threw this onto my death shelf, and I just yeeted it. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, I just, I think that this is pretty neat. Um, actually, let's see how this looks. I'm, I'm really curious. Oh. It looks pretty healthy. It's got a new growth plan and everything. The one thing they hate about this newspaper is, is that it gets tangled around a lot of the stems. 
And so you have to be really careful when you're pulling these off, otherwise you'll just tear off um, your foliage, which I really don't want. Okay. So overall, this is super healthy. Um, I'll probably need to water this uh, when I... Actually, no, it doesn't need any water, surprisingly. So um, there's some aerial roots that's kind of going on. And so there's some roots there. Uh, and I'm assuming that it's fully rooted down below because these are fairly rooted. Uh, so this is a Zingonium. I believe that this is just like a Zingonium um, Regina or something like that. I wouldn't say that it's a... Um, what do they call it? It's some weird one that they call like some strawberry... Um, or like, oh, uh, the Zingonium Neon Pink or something like that. It's not that one because that one's like vibrantly pink. This one, uh, you can see here in like this foliage that it doesn't have any pink at all, whereas with this one, it's mostly pink. So, not why I ordered, but you know what? Free plant, I'll take it. All right, so this is why I ordered, and I am super excited. Overall, it looks super healthy. Okay. Make sure that there's nothing else in here. Cool. <coughs> okay, so this is the Philodendron Crisinianum. Um, I don't believe that this is the Syngonium X. Um, it does say Philodendron Crisinianum and then in these brackets, hybrid. Uh, but I don't think that this is the Crisinianum X. The reason why I love this full or this plant is because, oh, oh, this is, this is so exciting. <laughs> um, so in this leaf, you guys can't see that, but in this leaf, it's not, it's, it's, it's really not anything too special. Um, and then this is one of the other leaves, and you start seeing more of the maturity kind of starting to come out. But the leaf it overall is pretty big, um, so like, if I compared it to my head. Oh. Yeah, so it's fairly big. It's about the same size as my head. And then, when we get to the newer foliage, or the more... Uh, more mature foliage. So I'm assuming that this foliage is new because it's still soft. It's not um, as hardened off as some of the older leaves are. But it does have the waviness coming in uh, on the edges or it's starting to get more of the ruffles on the edges. So that's the main reason why I bought it. Uh, there's a Crisinianum X which is um, they have the red backs or the red underneath. Uh, and so I'm kind of curious to see if this one will get that as it matures. But overall, I'm super happy with this purchase. The stem itself is very, very thick. Um, I would say maybe about like an inch thick, uh, which is fairly nice. Um, and right down here, there's already a new growth point. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that this plant overall is doing fairly well and it does not need its roots checked um, as I thought it might need. Oh, that's cute. So what they also did was they basically took off the little um, Ziploc thingy off of the Ziploc uh, bag. And so even though that this is a plastic bag and whatnot, they just tied it down with some rubber bands. So that's pretty neat. And then, I could actually already see the roots. Uh, I don't think that it's fully, fully rooted. Um, let's see. I just don't want to unpot stuff. Even though that at the beginning of the video I said that we're going to be checking out the roots, uh, I really don't want to uh, unpot it or just mess with the roots too much since we just got it in. Do -do -do -do. Okay, so I do see some roots underneath. And then on the surface, there's quite a bit of roots as well. So overall, super happy. Um, 
and I'm super and I'm just looking forward to this plant growing out and seeing whether or not the red comes in or not. But again, super happy with this purchase. So again, this plant was what I ordered. This is um take or uh, priced at $25 on their website. Now note that I did purchase this uh at the end of May, so May 30th. The shipping time is pretty long. And the uh, shipping expenses is kind of expensive because they're shipping through UPS. Um, I know that a lot of sellers are currently doing uh, UPS or FedEx only because USPS has been facing a lot of delays. So uh, overall, super happy. Uh, even though the, it did cost me a little bit more for the shipping, I really don't mind. And, oh wait. Oh, it actually came with a name. This, they're calling this the Syngonium Blush. So that's super nice. So again, here's the Syngonium. This was the freebie. Now again, do not expect any freebies from any place unless they explicitly tell you that they're going to be giving you freebies. And um, this is the actual plant that I ordered. Super happy, again. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I did have my Soyol thing uploaded, but I might need to make some changes to my actual Soyol. So that video might be a little bit longer than I intended. Um, and so I might just end up remaking that video later on down the road, uh, only because I'm still trying to work out the kinks and I don't want y'all to be like, oh my gosh, like that's such a great idea, when in reality it might not work all too well. So again, that is everything. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and until the next video, peace. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I think I'm going to just combine uh, the last video with this video um, and just do an overall plant haul. So. If you're seeing this, <laughs> it's only because I just not thought of it. So, uh, today I have another plant haul for you guys. Um, this is, uh, I got both a Hoya and an Aroid for you guys. And so we're go we'll go ahead and open that up. Um, I just woke up about like three hours ago. <laughs> it's already 6 p.m. <sighs> it's fine. Anyways, we'll go ahead and open these up. And then after that, I'm going to finally eat my lunch and yeah so ooh, I don't know which one I want to open up more I'll open up this one so this one um, I there was a post about a certain plant and I was just like oh my gosh like you know like if I could find it then like that'd be perfect and so um, she actually sent me a message. She was all like, oh yeah, by the way, this is who my seller is. And so I was all like, huh, I guess I'll reach out. So I went ahead and I reached out. And so their Etsy, I believe, is Nice Plants Good Pots. They also have an Instagram and that's how I reached out to them. And so I was asking about the plant in particular. Um, and so it did take a little bit between communication. Uh, There's also the hurricane. Uh, that just ripped through. Um, they are based out of, let's see, I want to say Florida. Yeah, I'll just say Florida because I don't know where this is coming from. It's fine. He. Yeah, I don't understand acronyms. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and open this baby up. All right, so inside is nicely packaged. We got the brown paper. I'll use this for packaging my own plants for later. Aha! Oh. Okay. So it is a little bit smaller than I expected, but overall it feels really healthy. So here we have my name. Hey, it's Bruce. Hey. <laughs> So, uh, we'll go ahead and open this baby up. So, I do like the fact that they wrapped the brown paper all the way up uh, onto the bottom. Um, this really helps in terms of um, making sure that soil doesn't leak out from the bottom and all in or all over the box. Um, so, let's go ahead and open this up.
so I do need to water this. Uh, I do have a broken leaf. Oh no! Okay, so I'll just have to pluck the pluck this leaf leaf off. Uh, yeah, there's no way. Makes me sad though because it is um, a nicer variegated leaf, but it's broken. I'm not gonna deal with it, so I'll just pluck it off. Uh, but this is the Aglonema spilt milk. So this is uh, just a variegated Aglonema. And so we have this leaf that's variegated, this leaf that's variegated, um, and this bottom leaf that's variegated. So that's pretty nice. So I'm super excited, super excited to see how this turns out overall. And again, there's my name at the bottom. So the pot does feel heavy, so I think they did water this uh, prior to shipping. So we'll put this all to the side. I am not going to be telling you guys the price for that because it is not listed explicitly on his or on their uh, Etsy. So we'll leave that. Next up is this one. So this one's the Hoya. So I'm super, super excited. Um, I put out an in search of post um, on Monday, no, Sunday, Sunday, uh, because a friend had told me about a UPT or unsolicited plant talks um, restock, and next thing I know is that I broke my plant ban, and I bought this. Or I bought something from UPT and then I put out the in search of post. Nobody re really reached out to me. And so uh, the next morning, so Monday morning, I was all like, no, I'll put out another in search of post. But this one was for a uh, Hoya Mystery box. And nobody really reached out to me for that one either. Um, there was just one seller uh, who reached out to me. Uh, uh, but... The plant that I wanted, she doesn't have ready just yet, and so that one really didn't go well. And then later that night, I got a message from uh, a seller that I purchased from before, and she was like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm just responding to your first in search of post, and I just wanted to let you know that I have this available if you're looking. And I was just all like, yes, of course I want it. So, um, that's what this one is. She either ha taped this really good, or this tape is too strong. It's fine. It's too strong. Oh my god. I don't know what she's using. This is some, like, heavy utility tape. But then again, I could just be weak. It's fine. I don't lift. Do you even lift, bruh? No, I don't. Gotta get. This. Open. My gosh. Oh. There we go. Ah, uh, there's the pop. <sighs> okay. So, because the seller reached out to me privately, I will not be disclosing their name. Um, and so, here's the inside. Alright, and then make sure that there's nothing else in here. Perfect. Oh, what are you? Okay. Always make sure that you check your packages fully because you never know if a seller is generous enough to send you something else. Now remember, don't always expect a free cutting, do not always expect a free plant. Um, never ever expect more than what you've paid for. All right, so put that off to the side. That was some really heavy duty packaging, my goodness. 
So I'll start off with the bonus. This is the Encrasada Variegated. So let's actually pop this open because I believe that I have one. So, oh! Ah! Okay. <laughs> so this one is the Encrasada uh, Inner Variegated. So this is also considered as the uh, Encrasada uh, Moon Eclipse? No, Moon Shadow. Because the other one is the Albo Marginata, and the Albo Mar Marginata is the, um, uh, is the Eclipse. There we go. Or the new Eclipse, or something like that. Anyways, moving on to the actual one that I purchased. So, it's packaged very cutely. So, we have it in this packaging. We'll go and open this. So, she told me that she was reading this in some Lekka, um, which is nice because when I purchased from her before, she had them in these Sphagnum pods, and so there was two plants in that one. One of them did not make it, and then the other one I had to rehab it. Um, the other one, so I got the Persidica and the, what is it? the Blash Nerezi eye from her. Uh, the Parasitica did not make it. I did have to peel off the sphagnum pod from the actual stem. And so with that, took off a lot of the roots. Same thing with the Blash Nerezi eye. But the Blash Nerezi eye ended up surviving, but the uh, Parasitica did not. Uh, so she went into Lekka, and then... Oh, ha oh, 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 ha oh. um, ha! But I did not tell her that the sphagnum pods did not work. Uh, she just ended up switching over to Lekka overall and she stopped using sphagnum pods. Um, and so, this one in particular was since uh, Lekka. And she told me, she was like, you know, like, I'm not too sure. I don't know if I want to ship in Lekka because um, she doesn't want the balls to crush the roots. And so, guys, say hello. Oh, that's actually really cute. I'm going to leave it like that and then show you guys. This is a Hoya Hypolasia. And so I told uh, one of my group uh, messenger uh, group people that I was going to name this Yen because I have a pretty good friend. She's on Instagram at these leaves underscore. And her name is Yen. She really inspired me to start getting into a stick like Hoyas. And so this is like a stick like Hoya. Uh, oh, oh. This is a very fuzzy hoy. Oh my gosh. I fell in love. Ooh. So it is damaged and I was aware of that. Uh, I went ahead and I picked this one in particular. Uh, this one does have two growth tips at the node there. So that's super exciting. Uh, the interesting thing about this is, is that it is in a plastic cup, but it's also in a net cup. Oh. And so she did send this to me in Coco Quar. Uh, or in coconut husks because she was too afraid of the uh, sending it in Lekka. So, guys, meet Yen. I'm super excited for you guys to meet Yen. Uh, I'm going to take this out of the coconut chips. And it's got some roots. So super happy, super excited. Oh, it's starting to dry out. So I'll need to pop this up immediately. But yeah, so there's its roots. Oh gosh, I'm not sure if it's going to focus. Don't focus on me. Ah, oh, that's so terrible. I'm so sorry guys, but it has two roots. Super excited. I'm going to go ahead and pop this up. And yeah, guys, meet Yen. And this is the other plant. So that's it for today's haul. And thank you guys so much for watching. I have uh, one more um package for this week and then I'll upload it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and until the next one, goodbye! Hello everybody, so this is going to be the last part about of the Hoya haul or oh my gosh, of the plant haul for this week. Um, this is going to be a Hoya haul. Uh, this is from Unsolicited Plant Talks and so this is what um, got me <laughs> or broke me and so I was supposed to be on the plant ban, and then this happened, and then I was able to catch it, and so I spiraled. Anyways, we'll go ahead and open this. I'm a little tired. It's okay. 
Um, I didn't get my full eight hours of sleep. I had to do an eye appointment and just talking to people is exhausting. It's okay. But anyways, I think that this is pretty cute overall. They have their uh, branding um, as their tape. Um, it looks like it's one of those like cardboardy tapes with the, the metal wires on the inside of like the fiberglass. So that's going to be super nice. So I just need to figure out how to open this. Do -do -do -do. Okay. So it's kind of funny because I was not planning on buying anything, but okay. L let me let me start the story from the top. So I was just laying in bed, you know. It, it was already like nine, ten o'clock at night. Next thing I know, is I get a message from a good friend, and he was all like, "Oh, hey, you BT restocks," and I was all like, "Ooh, fuck me up." So. I popped on because he was all like, oh, like, what should I buy? And so I responded back to him after looking at uh, her site and I was just all like, boy, you better buy something before I get something because, you know, like, if there's only one of everything, I mean, and if I buy it, you ain't gonna get it. So, I mean, pick up poison. Uh, but anyways, um... He listed off some plants that I didn't see before, so there's a filter that says check availability or buy availability. Uh, I hit that, but I guess not all of them filtered out properly. And so uh, I had to actually go hop onto my laptop and try to see if I could find the ones I wanted. And sure enough, I found it one, and I was all like, Bruce, like, you don't really need it. And then I was all like, yeah, you do, Bruce, like, you definitely need it. So I bought it. And that's what this one is. Um, they also had a restock the next morning, but it wasn't anything that I wanted, or it was just something that, um, or it was already things that I already had. So super excited. All right. So on the inside is the papers, and then my invoice reminding me about how much I spent. All right. So I did spend about $40 on uh, the plant itself, and the shipping cost about $10.25. Pass that to the side. And so here we have the actual plant, so it looks like it's been taped down to the, uh, the cardboard box, and we got some fluff on the inside. We'll snip this down. Oh, oh, okay, so the fluff did fall off, and so now we're left with this, so this is the Hoya, um, Sipitangensis, I think that's how you pronounce it, Sipitangensis, that sounds about right, go roll with it, it's okay. So this one reminds me a lot about like the Hoya um, Rebecca, I think. My names are getting mixed up. Anyways, uh, it kind of reminds me of either the Hoya uh, Rachel, the Hoya Rebecca, or something like that. Uh, the leaves are fairly small and it does get sun stressed. Um, oh gosh, I can't figure out where the tape is. I'm having technical difficulties. It's fine. So... It does get some stress, and it does look like little tiny uh, turtle shells, which is why I bought this one. And the blooms are so cute. I was showing uh, a friend, uh, or I was telling a friend that this looks like, uh, or how cute this Hoya was. And he looked it up, and he was all like, you know, the blooms are not that great if uh, if you have trifle." Triophobia or something like that. I guess like the fear of honeycombs or something. Um, I didn't see it. I still don't understand it. But you know what? Whatever makes you laugh. So this is such a healthy specimen. Oh my gosh. One, two, three. Oh, there's three rooted plants in here. Um, they have this little label here, which is super nice. I don't have to make one. And so you can actually see the sun stress right here, which is really nice that it's coming up on camera. And there's also these other leaves that are starting to get sun stressed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this a quick little water and I'm going to throw it on top of one of my brighter windows and hopefully it gets more sun stressed. So that is all of my plant uh, haul for this week. It was 
Let me see if I remember. It was the glass house works. It was the Syngonium and the Aglonema, and this is the UPT. So that is everything that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and until the next one, peace.